Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a cool blockchain project called Acroma. Uh, the reason I'm sharing it with you in this one is because this is going to be something that I am going to be mining in the immediate future. And I think it's got real potential as we go throughout 2018. So what is Acroma? I'll just spend a minute covering a few of the, the basics regarding this blockchain project, and then we'll move on to setting up the wallet and how we can get started mining this coin. So in very simple terms, Acroma is very much like Ethereum. So I'm a big fan of Ethereum. I like a lot of the features of it. But Acroma takes it a step further by adding in masternodes, which are very popular for a lot of uh, other blockchain projects such as Dash. Um, and then again, it also takes another step further by also adding in oracles. So oracles are a kind of a new thing. And what it allows uh, the blockchain to do is kind of pull data from outside of the blockchain, so like for real world events, and use that data by pulling it into the blockchain and then the smart contracts and stuff can um, interact with it. So Ethereum plus masternodes plus oracles. Uh, it's quite interesting. At the moment, the project is kind of um, quite low value. It's got a low market cap. The coins are individually priced very low. Um, it's not on coin market cap and it's only on two small exchanges. Uh, so all of those kind of features combined, I think this particular project could be uh, much bigger in the future. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. So taking a look at a few of the things now, I know a lot of you guys immediately asked me about profitability and things like that. And like I say, this coin is uh, reasonably profitable. It's not quite as profitable as Ethereum, but with this, what I would normally say is, you know, just mine the most profitable coin and then buy the products that you like. But with this one, because it's kind of on two exchanges, which is this Stocks Exchange and this uh, Gravy X, um, I think it's better to mine this project and get the coins yourself. And then when it goes onto a, um, a bigger exchange later, then perhaps sell those coins. So just taking a quick look at the profitability um, in any case, just in case you want to mine and sell immediately. I've done it based on a GTX 960, so we've got a hash rate of 22.5. By the way, this coin is an Ethereum, um, sorry, an ETH based uh, coin. So you can mine it if you're already familiar with mining Ethereum. The process is exactly the same. You just need to sort of uh, switch over pools uh, for your miner. So going back to the hash rate, 22.5, uh, 90 watts of power and I've got my electricity cost um, there using that we scroll down and it gets us a daily profit of 55 uh, cents but what I'd like you to, to focus on just for a second is the estimated daily rewards so we're looking at 12.67 coins so I think these coins can be much higher value in the future so it's quite easily mined if you mine an ethereum or something at the moment you're only going to get like a tiny fraction of an ethereum uh, taking a look um, on a comparative basis at Ethereum. So essentially the same results, one GTX 1060. If we scroll down, um, excluding the top results and just focusing on Ethereum, you can see we'll be mining and we'll be taking a profit of 65 cents and slightly higher revenue. Um, but again, like I say, if we show you that sort of daily rewards, you're only earning a tiny fraction of a single Ethereum. So whereas um, I am bullish on Ethereum, I think the Ethereum price could probably double, um, you know, in the future at some point. I would not like to give it an exact time scale. Whereas I think a Chroma, it could probably go up from uh, eight cents where it is now. Um, I think this coin could be quite easily a dollar coin. But of course, it's all you know, pure speculation and opinion. I can't predict the future. But um, I do like the project and I think it's got good potential. So mining this and holding it maybe for six months to a year, I think has got quite a lot of potential in comparison to say mining and just holding Ethereum. So with all that said, let's get started mining um, a Chroma. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is set up a wallet. So from the official Acroma website, which is acroma.io, and then we've got the forward slash en for the English language. If you scroll down, um, there's also some network details there, like I say, very similar to Ethereum. Uh, just very quickly, I'll talk about the block rewards. The miners get seven, uh, the master nodes are two, and the Chroma Foundation gets one. So it's, uh, the blocks are of 10, a Chroma, seven, two, and one is the breakdown. So first we're gonna need a address or wallet address that we can mine to. So I'm gonna be using the web wallet. So we just select that and open it in a new window. There's no standalone um, wallet at the moment. 
There's a web extension uh, for Chrome and this web wallet, so that's what I'm going to be using. So this is the web wallet, so it's wallet.acroma.io and you can see it looks very much the same as my Ether wallet. Um, and because this project is built uh, using the same or similar infrastructure to Ethereum, a lot of the uh, uh, things can be passed over. So like I said, the Chrome um, kind of application is um, like a fork of MetaMask. And this, like I say, is kind of very similar to my Ether wallet. So because it's got that Ethereum background, you can see a lot of similar um, type applications. So we select new wallet. And then the first thing we need to do is create a password. So this is a password that's going to be used to unlock the wallet where uh, the seed generation will be created separately. So we're going to kind of have two parts. So I'm going to enter a password and then we're going to press the button to create a new wallet. Uh, it says our password needs to be at least nine characters. Get a bit of a telling off there. So now I'm going to have to make it longer. So we're going to download the wallet file now. So that's just going to get saved to our downloads folder. Um, I'll make extra backups of that later. I recommend you do the same as well, of course. So click on the I understand and continue button. We also have a printed version of our private key. So essentially when we open our wallet, we're gonna need either the private key or the JSON file. So I'm gonna save this private key just in a notepad file. Um, I'll make extra precautions with it later. So I've now saved our private key. So you can see here we have a few options to open up the wallet. We can open up with a key store file or we can open up with a private key. Um, in this case, I'll open up the private key and we want to unlock it. So scrolling down, now you can see our wallet address. So it's this one here. It starts 0x. So I'm just going to copy and paste the wallet address because we're going to be using that when it starts uh, when we start mining. So now I'm going to close the wallet tab. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so now we've set up our wallet and we've got a, a Chroma wallet address. We can now move on to the mining stage. So I'm going to be using the Claymore's dual Ethereum miner, but we're just going to be using it in uh, Ethereum only mode. So they've got some help files um, already set up. So I'm just going to customize one of my uh, original batch files and I'm just going to change it over to suit uh, the pool. So I'll be using the Claymore's dual ETH miner. Um, I'll put a link in the video's description so you can get started with it. So I'm just going to copy and paste this batch file. Sorry, let's just uh, rename it so we know where we are. You can see I've got quite a few from other projects. So I've got start a chroma dot bat, which it, oh, I've opened the wrong one, sorry. If I right click, I'm just gonna edit it. So this is previously used to mine Ethereum, but now I'm gonna change it so that we can mine a chroma. So the first thing that we need to change is this pool address. So 
just selecting this and it is a EU address um, I don't know if they have um, US addresses or Asia addresses so double check that and then going back to the batch file just replacing that pool address and then I need to replace the Ethereum address with a, a Chroma address so paste that in there and then I'm just going to check and see if they do support um, nicknames okay so it does appear that they do but it's in a slightly different format so I need to do this eWorker so with uh, the previous system it was a period and then the worker name with this one we need to add in this eWorker Let's add it in beforehand, I guess. And I'll just call this worker one. Okay, that should do it. So I'm going to save that. closing down some of these windows so this should be our batch file now save and then I'm just gonna run it uh, just before I do uh, I just need to make sure my bit defender yeah that's set to off so we'll run the batch file and we'll see how we get on so the miner is starting up and it's um this is an old claymore you can use a newer one um, it doesn't really matter but this there's only um, small differences between them, but this one works fine for me. Uh, okay, so we just need to add an extra switch. It's because a claimer wants to mile, mine the pool, uh, its its pool percentage. So we just need to add in that all pools one switch. And that should get rid of that error. So just restarting the miner again. So you can see I've got two cards in this machine. So one is a RX 560 four gigabyte and the other one is a RX 570 also four gigabytes. Uh, both of them have just got regular biases not modded bias. So the miner's just starting up there. And now what I'm going to do is take a look back on the pool. So we should be able to see our mining stats. So I've just clicked on the miners tab and open that in a new window. Um, can we search by a specific number? I think you, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this account, but then I'm going to change it to my address and then we should see some results. Yeah, they don't have like a search feature on the previous page so I've just selected one and then in the address bar which I think I needed to yeah so I just only slash that out so at the moment when we search we don't find nothing so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll leave it running for 10 minutes and then we'll see uh, make sure the miner's running normally and then we'll also check our results on the pool Okay, so you can see on the miner that we have now been mining for 10 minutes. Uh, total speed is uh, just over 34 mega hashes. So we're getting 12.2 on the RX 560 and 21, almost 22 on the RX uh, 570. Like I say, I'm not using a modded BIOS on either of those cards, so that's why they are quite a bit slower than you might have expected. Going back to the pool, you can see it should have uh, caught up a little bit now. So we've got our ID, so we've got worker one, like I said, we set that sick uh, nickname in the batch file. And we've got our 30 minute hash rate of 37, so it's slightly higher than what we're actually producing. So this will level out um, over time. Our estimated coins on a 24 hour basis, uh, according to these stats, is uh, 23 coins. Um, and there's also a dollar 
uh, basis there as well. So like I said, uh, compared to Ethereum, uh, with this particular project, if you're mining it using the same um, hardware, the same miners, what you're doing is effectively changing your wallet address and then mining to a different pool, uh, but you're gonna be mining a lot more individual coins. So at the moment, they're very low value, but um, I do think in the future that they could be worth significantly more. Of course, um, you know, it is purely um, speculation and just opinion on that fact. Um, but I think the project has got potential, so we'll see where this goes. Um, I'm going to put my mining power onto this particular project for um, at least a short while and um, rack up some coins and then keep them locked away and, like I say, maybe come back in six months or a year and then see how the project is doing at that point onwards. Okay, guys, so that concludes this video. Um, hopefully you've liked it. If you did, give it a like. If you like this type of content, uh, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out content like this on a regular basis. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, put those in the comments area below. Um, everything that you need to get started mining with this project. So I'll put all the links that you need in the video description. Uh, miners and stuff I'll also link in the description as well, as well as some sample batch files to help you get started. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Where are you going?